So what brings you here today? Trouble, trouble. Come for clarity and soothing maybe, or a contribution to give and get. Sort of like a normal moment in life, yes? Where you're part of more than just you, but the part that is you is so important. Your perception of what goes on matters a lot. You contribute, whether you sit here and talk into this and speak your words where other ears can hear them or whether you do what you do all the time convey through your vibrational offering one of the things that sometimes happens as you come here and play with us is that we are able to discern and we often point it out nicely usually <laughs> sometimes there's a difference in what you're saying with your words and what you're offering vibrationally and it's really a good thing for you to acknowledge when that is happening because the universe is not responding to your words and sometimes you've become so accustomed to saying this and that about this and that that you think that those words are more powerful than they are and you're shocked when your children don't listen to you when the universe doesn't respond to the words that you are offering sometimes you speak the words so often that you think that they are what you mean when often they are the opposite of what you mean don't you know I love you you shout at someone and in that moment you're not loving them you want to and that's the thing that we want to point out to you about your words often you want your words to mean what they mean but your words don't matter so much it's what you are conveying vibrationally and when you're able to moment by moment segment by segment conversation by conversation thought by thought sort that out for yourself where you begin to acknowledge what you are conveying vibrationally in fact only when you begin to own what you are conveying vibrationally can you do anything about deliberately creating your own experience as long as you are letting your own words fool you then you're going to feel like the universe is a mystery I just don't understand why I'm getting this when I'm saying that and so we want to remind you we know you've heard it before especially if you've been hanging around us at all that there are two ways of knowing what your vibrational offering is what your mix of vibrations is one is by the way you feel and the other is by how things are coming about and it's nice if you recognize it during the pre-manifestational phase because it's more difficult to do something about it post-manifestational in other words once something is manifested now you got that to deal with that to observe that to explain that to sometimes endure mostly observe though because most of you offer most of what you offer vibrationally because of what you're observing it's like you think reality is so real that it deserves your attention and we get why because the reality that you're translating through your physical senses seeing it hearing it smelling it tasting it touching it it is real it is vivid it is leading edge it is something that is done it is noticeable it is seeable it is gettable but the question is is it wantable <laughs> is it wanted by you do you want it because if you don't want it then don't look at it well we know that's not easy because there are a lot of people who are in your face with what they want you to see and when you just turn away from them your children do it all the time have you noticed yeah. and what do you say to them when they do that pay attention to me listen to me 
You sort of demand attention from each other, but if you're really smart, you've become an evasive butterfly who only gives your attention to what you really want or what you want to encourage in your experience. So when we say to you, you create your own reality, what we mean is you offer a vibration that law of attraction responds to. And when you know what vibration you're offering and you're doing it on purpose, then you are a deliberate creator. But when you're offering it just based upon things you've thought before or things that other people think or the loudest vibration or comment in the room, you might be creating your life by default. You might be creating things that you don't want to create when you don't need to. So we're eager to talk with you about whatever it is that you want to talk about, but our powerful desire for you as a result of our conversations here today is that you come to understand at least that there is a vibrational mix of energy within you. In other words, there are things you desire and there are things you believe and that mix matters. When you desire something and believe it, now it's all flowing in the same direction and there's powerful influence coming from you and what you want is coming about. But if you want something that you doubt, if you want something that you're looking in opposition to, then you've got contradiction within you. And that's the thing we most want you to become aware of. Because when you say one thing, but mean another, you've got a vibrational contradiction going on within you and it just does not feel good. You are more than you see here in these physical bodies. You are an extension while you are in these physical bodies of source energy. And the source energy part of you is dominant. But the source energy part of you is not creating your reality. The source energy part of you is supporting the reality that you create. You said when you made the decision to put some of your consciousness into this personality that is you. I will go forth into this physical world and I will explore and evaluate and come to conclusions and launch rockets of desire. And your inner being, that non-physical source, soul, God part of you said, and when you do that, once life has shown you something that is of interest and importance to you, we will give our attention to that. And we will give our attention to that so clearly no wobble in us we won't focus on it but then wonder if you can do it we won't focus upon it and then question your authenticity we won't focus upon this desire that you've chosen and then talk to each other about how unlikely it is that you'll accomplish it <laughs> we won't badmouth your desire we will never be unsupportive of what you are choosing which means we may be different than you about the things you have chosen because you do that all the time. I really want that, but am I capable? Am I worthy? I really want that, but is it the right thing for me to want? You are wobblers. <laughs> and that's all right because you are step oneers. Creative process, step one, two, three, four, five. But step one is you sift and sort and you come to conclusions and you launch these rockets. Step one is you ask. And step two is source rides the rocket of what you've asked and is unequivocal about that forevermore. Step three is you line up with what you want and source is focus upon what you want. And step four is you just get really, 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 really good at that. And step five is you step back into step one but you do it with the attitude that source feels when you step back into step one, you revel in the perfection of you exploring contrast again for the purpose of more motion forward. Do you know what you usually do when you step back into step one? Oh, I'm not good at this or oh, this again. But if you could maintain the perspective that source has about you a little more often, you'd feel better things would go faster for you you'd have more ease and most of all you'd have so much more fun in the creation the creation of you the creation of you so you've been hanging around us for a while you feel like you 
have a basis of understanding of what we teach yes. we're gonna give you the short version of it you create your own reality you're offering a vibration all the time law of attraction is responding to that vibration how do you like how you're doing <laughs> that'll give you a little longer version you're the creator of your own reality you offer vibration all the time law of attraction responds to your vibration how do you like how you're doing doesn't really matter whether you like it right now because you can change it that fast it's just about your attention but your attention usually you don't change that fast because your attention is usually sort of kind of like the attention that you've been offering that's what beliefs are a belief is a thought that you continue to think so do you know what you're up against deliberate creative geniuses that you are do you know what you have to do do you know what your primary work is a constant steady reassessment of how well the beliefs that you have been holding or are holding are serving you period not if they're true or not if you believe them they're gonna be true everything that you believe that you hold steady in your vibration comes about so the question is not is it true there's all sorts of screwy things that are true things that no one wants figure that one out nobody wants them and you're creating them all over the place and then documenting them this is true we say sure enough but maybe that's not the question maybe the question would be better to be is this truth that we keep regurgitating something that we want to continue to regurgitate and if the answer is no then you got to take your attention away from it because there's no getting rid of anything do you know that it's only attraction 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 if you're getting it you're attracting it you are attracting it if you're getting it Esther's been listening to us for a long time we've been spewing through her for a very 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 long time and not that long ago days ago just a tiny bit ago <laughs> she's getting something from someone that she does not want and just for a momentary lapse in consciousness she believed they were asserting it into her experience and she's looking at them like why would you do that to me and then she remembered oh, it's only attraction it's only attraction but I'm getting something different than the words I say because the words you say are irrelevant so if I'm getting it I must be attracting it I gotta own that yuck <laughs> sometimes it's hard to admit that you mean something that isn't nice or that you wouldn't want to admit to but law of attraction is not blaming you it's just matching you so if you've got something going on in your vibration you're just gonna see it and 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 then you know what you do as most humans you say oh yeah the world's really full of this we say you're full of it <laughs> it's you that's full of it if you're seeing it everywhere it's active in your vibration so then Esther would say she's tried this on us for years Abraham I would like to phone a friend <laughs> I would like to be the one exception in all of the universe I would like law of attraction to just give me this one anyway give me what I want even though I'm offering a vibration in opposition to what I want oh but when you get the hang of this when you start accepting that you create your own reality and that it's attraction 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 and everybody else is too then you start enjoying the dance then you start enjoying what you're attracting and there's so much wonderful stuff that you're attracting mixed in with stuff that you don't want but oh the discerning the realization the fine-tuning the practicing of the thoughts the thinking on purpose and then watching the results how fun is that we just want to give you one little thing that will help you so much do not misunderstand do not come to think a lot of people do but do not come to think this I'll practice my vibration so that you will be better 
I'll think thoughts about you so that you will behave the way I like.